Hello guys, it's D2TheB to the B here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Transformers film that was announced early on in 2021, Transformers Rise of the Beasts. And yes, I know, I know, I am super late on this topic, but to make it up to you, I figured I would discuss what we know so far about Transformers Rise of the Beasts. We have the announcement of five separate factions in this film. We got Autobots, we got Decepticons, we got Maximals, we got Predacons, and we got this new faction called Terrorcons. Which, if you don't know what Maximals and Predacons are, let me explain the concept of Beast Wars. And if you already know the concept of Beast Wars, please skip to this time. So, Beast Wars takes um, 300 years after the Autobot and Decepticon War with their descendants, the Maximals and the Praticons. And, of course, during the Maximals and Praticons battle, they land on a prehistoric Earth where they need to scan forms of the most um, local creatures of the planet to make sure the unstable Energon does not destroy them. And these two factions fight it out in the prehistoric Earth. Eventually, they get to the point where they realize they're back before their ancestors, the Autobots, landed on Earth and lie dormant in slumber. And this comes into play because Megatron tries to destroy the timeline. And eventually the Beast Wars are over when Megatron is defeated the last time trying to destroy the Autobots. With that out of the way, let's continue on with Rise of the Beasts. Next thing that I'm going to mention is the cast for each faction of Rise of the Beasts. So for Autobots, we got Optimus Prime, we got Bumblebee, we got RC, we got Mirage... And also we got this rumor about a possible Titan being in the movie, which I'll get into later. I just found out the news. Well, if it is real anyway. But continuing on, Decepticons, it's really unsure for right now, but we could probably see some reveals very soon. Maximals, we got Cheetor. We got Optimus Primal, we got Air Razor, and we got Rhinox. Predacons, unfortunately, are the same way. And the new faction, the Terracons, the characters that we know of so far are Scourge and Nightbird. Yes, that is pretty much the cast. Let's get into the places that they will be filming. I know one place is going to be Peru for one set. It's going to be like this ancient village. And I'm going to give credit here. I found this news out from Fire Brothers YouTube channel. So I give all the credit to him. Please go check him out. And what Firebrand explains in his video, which I might leave in the link in the description that this civilization is going to be a Transformer. Which, I kind of do agree with Firebrand. I'm not for this. I don't know how to feel about it. It's just... And then another report, I'm pretty sure another place, is going to be Canada. And also this village, which there's a photo of a... Um, person holding a shatter toy. This is basically all I can remember for locations. And we also got some further details that we got of the new human characters, Elna and Noah, if I'm pronouncing her name right. I also found this out because I have to do lots and lots of research for this video, that in this movie, Optimus won't really have that much of a protection over Earth, but in the movie, he will basically 
grow a protective instinct of the planet Earth. And also, we got um, news for, like, characters like Nightbird, for example, which she's going to be manipulative, kind of like how Black Arachne is. I remember this video from Firebrand saying that they might replace Nightbird for Black Arachnia, which it could happen. How Nightbird is for what the information we've got so far and the profile of Black Arachnia from like Beast Wars, they do kind of sound similar. But continuing on, the we're going to get to the description of the Maximals now. So, how it is described with the Maximals is they're going to be all beaten up, um, covered in dirt, and all rusty, if I'm remembering right. So, yeah, they're going to be a bit older. I'm kind of hoping they keep to the Beast Wars formula, but I do. I can see where like people like Firebrand are guessing, like, that the Maximals are going to be a lot older, like older versions of Autobots or something like that. Because according to his description, that the Maximals are going to be um, these older beaten up Transformers and also that Optimus Primal is going to be um, this, like, old mentor for Optimus Prime, which I'm a bit skeptical, but who knows? It really depends the way they execute it. Let's get into some of the vehicle forms for, um, the characters. Like, Optimus Prime that I'm aware of is most likely going to stay the same way he was in... Um, Bumblebee. Bumblebee is going to be the Camaro because of um, this continuing off where Bumblebee started. I've heard rumors that they're going to like add monster truck wheels and that stuff to him, which sounds a little bit cool. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I've heard. Um, Mirage is supposed to be... A... Okay, it's this car. I really can't remember what this car is called. I'm not a vehicle expertise. I only know, like, certain cars like Camaros, Lamborghinis, Dodge, Ram trucks, and, um... 1850 Raptor or something like that. I can't remember. Apache Helicopter. Like, I don't know that much when it comes to um, vehicles. So, sorry if I can't get the accurate name for the car. And, of course, the Maximals are going to be their original beast modes, of course. And I think that's about it for Rise of the Beasts. That's pretty much all that I can remember. If there's something that I missed, please tell me in the comments. Tell me if I'm missing any further details or if I got certain details wrong. But yeah, what do I think of Rise of the Beasts so far? It sounds interesting, I'm hoping it's good. Like, I'm going to be honest, knowing that this movie is a continuation after it. Like, I personally didn't care that much for Bumblebee. I'm just going to say it. Like, Bumblebee wasn't a bad movie. Do I think it's all these things that they claim with the film? Like, it's better than the original Transformers movie, which I completely disagree with. Like, this movie is definitely better comparison to, like, um, Revenge of the Fallen and, um, The Last Night. Because those movies sucked. But, like, I wasn't for Bumblebee. Like, I tried 
going into it with an open mind like I do with every single Transformers movie. And I thought it was okay. Like, I will admit some cool things about the movie. Cybertron bits. Those were cool. Like, I loved the Cybertron scenes in the movie. Um, also, I liked the main villains, Dropkick and Shatter. They were pretty cool. And then the movie kind of falls forward for me for the rest. Like, it's not bad, but you got these things like um, Bumblebee acting like a coward, which I found a little bit disappointing. I know some... Oh, another positive that I just thought of is the guy who plays Blitzwing. I did like him, including how the guy who plays Blitzwing is the same guy who plays Depth Charge in Beast Wars and also Shockwave in Transformers Prime. But yeah, besides those things, I didn't really care for Bumblebee that much. I will say it, it wasn't a bad movie, but I don't think it was great. Like, I was a bit optimistic. Like I said, as a Michael Bay prequel, this movie kind of sucks. But as a start to a new Transformers movie universe, it's not a bad movie. Of course, it's not a great movie, but it's better than The Last night, which I don't hold that accountable to Travis Knight. I mostly blame um, Paramount and all of the Hasbro executives because at the time, they wanted to connect Bumblebee to the Michael Bayverse, which Bumblebee might still be connected to the Bayformers, which... It's so confusing and so stupid at the same time. Like, just make Bumblebee and Rise of the Beasts a whole new universe. Because if you keep them in the same universe, it's going to be a, a mess. Which a lot of people will agree with me on. But continuing on with Rise of the Beasts, it sounds like an interesting concept. And I can't wait to see how this film is going to be played out. And that's pretty much about it. That's all I can think of. So, what did you think of the movie? Tell me in the comments. Have a nice day, everyone.